in the last round at Shubenacadie, Nova Scotia, BMW's Ben Young and Suzuki's Alex Duma were virtually tied in points after four races. However, disaster struck Duma as he crashed out in race one and then placed second behind Ben Young in race two. This has given Young a large lead in the point standings. Can Duma close the gap in the first race of our triple hitter here at Old Mosport? Welcome to round four here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. We're also happy to welcome Rennie Skaysbrook and Aprilia to CTMP and a special shout out to Tommy Casas as he returns for his first race here in 2022. As Importation Thibault presents the Canadian Superbike Championships. Brought to you in part by BS Battery. Joe Rocket and AIM Insurance. And it's time to talk about our BS Battery Super Pole sessions yesterday, and there were two of them. Why? Because the return occurred of our Dunlop Super Soft Q tire with a yellow stripe. So in the second session, they had access to that tire for a couple of laps, and it was a battle as usual between our top two in the series, Alex Duma, our current champion, and our points leader, Ben Young. And there's Thomas Kazaz with his Yamaha R1, showing very good pace in his return, as did Trevor Daly on the second Suzuki. Now let's hear from Hannah, who talked to Ben Young. All right, Ben, you had a phenomenal qualifying finish today. You broke a lap record and you won the BS Battery Pole Award. How did it feel out there today? Yeah, it was good. We've been uh, we've been fast here kind of always, and it's the race that counts, but uh, but that was good. Good to get another Pole Award after winning it last year. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a good one, but the icing on the cake is the main championship, so that's what we're going for. Let's have a look at our starting grid, Colin, for this triple header weekend. Yeah, and let's also acknowledge that this is the one track all year where we go 4-3-4-3 four, three, four, three, rather than 3-2. A little, little more room on the grid and also into turn one here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. And also some visitors who are showing very well. Chris Murray Odin, who tends to show up regularly at this track. And Skaysbrook, uh, Cycle News editor, who uh, had very little practice time, so basically was learning the track during qualifying. Trevor Dion starting from the back in his first Superbike start since the start of the season when he was on pole at Grand Bend. Now let's head back to the hot pit and hear from Hannah about the latest developments. Thanks guys, Van Dolder's BMW's Ben Young is in pole position for the first race here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. I talked to Ben and he said that he feels comfortable with the points lead he has over Alex Duma, comparing it to a similar feeling he experienced during the 2019 CSPK season that he ultimately won. He said that his goal for today is to finish ahead of Alex, collecting as many points as possible to further his lead in the championship standings. Back to you. Well, I don't know about you, Colin, but I am wound up for this one. This will be the first of three races, three Superbike races. Our uh, CSBK official, Fred Benjamin, is scampering over. Now we look to the Bickle Racing starting lights. When those lights go off is the key thing, of course. The revs are building down. Lights are off, and we're away and running. Down into turn one we go. And let's see who actuated their traction Tremblay. control the most accurately, and it's Seb Tremblay on that Kawasaki. And uh, what a great start, and what a great moment for Tremblay, who hasn't had the best season, but can he hold off our reigning champion he does into turn two well after he had scored uh, in the uh, qualifying that was third spot in qualifying for Tremblay he commented to me on the way to the podium this is only my first podium as we see Duma now gather up the lead there and Tremblay has been shunted back into into a second spot and it looks like he's going to be heading to third pretty soon because here comes Braveheart 
Yeah, Tremblay left the door open in three, and it looks like Dumas was in no mood to wait around. And of course, this is what Dumas needs. He needs to get out front and hopefully have Young get mired in traffic. But the problem has been lately that the pace has been so fast so early that no one's been able to join the leaders. Let's see if Tremblay, and I think that's Casas in fourth. So I believe wonderful it is, yep. for a guy who basically hasn't raced in a year as we draft our way for the first time up that Mario Andretti back straight. Well, Tommy did a great job in qualifying, qualifying that Yamaha R1 in uh, six spots, started on the second row, and he is obviously right back up to speed. We missed him all season, but man, he's making up Don't for it. Somebody just went off. right or off track there. Oh, no! Oh, man, somebody right into the wall there. It is Lecky, Philip Lecky. Oh, tough break for Lecky. He is uh, one of the, uh, the big runners down at Grand Bend uh, Motorplex, but uh, he is out of this race now as we pick up on the action up front and Dumas running in first spot. Dumas is going to have, have to hope for Daly to get up there and start mixing it up. Yeah, and let's mention, very fortunate that Lecky's okay after running straight, and that's Ben Young's old BMW that just went into the uh, tire barrier as we go on board with Young as he's trying to make that move on Tremblay into nice. three. Nicely done in Quebec corner. He puts Tremblay back into third spot spot and now he sets off in pursuit of Duma. This is going to be another fist fight for first. I got a feeling and uh, take note also that Tommy Casas is on the move. He is now putting pressure on Seb Tremblay as they head into uh, turn number five there. Well I hope you're not too upset Frank. It took us well over a lot for normal service to be resumed at the front of our field all year. <laughs> this is what it's been. It's been Duma versus Young. Remember oh let's go on board with Skaysbrook on the Aprilia. Remember he gridded a naturally far back. This is his first time at the track here you can see he's confident on that wide line in turn two and he's making things work in heavy traffic moving up a couple of spots and this is what he's going to need to do because of his lowly grid spot with that very fast Aprilia. This 360 camera Colin is absolutely marvelous look at the footage we're getting here as Skaysbrook continues his charge towards the front he is passing a lot of riders man. Yes, this is the debut of the Insta360 and Skaysbrook. You can see how the, the view can change with just one camera, and it really, really suits the action. It actually put, picked up his uh, fingers on the brake, as a matter of fact, Colin. You can see his fingers on the brake, and then suddenly the fingers come off the brake, and the throttle's wide open again. So that really is getting a workout here. Yeah, I think Tremblay in third is starting to hold up a little bit. Casas and also Daly, who didn't get a great start from the front row. But the problem is that they may already be scrubbed off the draft, and normally at this point, Point. At this venue, there's five or six guys right together. That is not the case, and we've seen oh, this look, all year. Yep. These two get going so fast, so early. And look at those lap times for a race pace. That is extremely strong, and normally oh, they'd want to feel each other out. Young is on the move. Braveheart pulls out alongside Duma. There they are, side by side again, as they have been all year long. Into turn number eight, and Braveheart has taken the race lead. And he's pulling away. Into turn nine he goes. Young wants to push the pace even harder than what it has been. And the reason is he does not want to get others involved with this race. He can afford to finish second, but he cannot afford to get pushed down off the podium. And we'll be back with more of this action between our top two superstars here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park on TSN. Closed captioning for today's event is presented by Liquid Molly, Goderich Toyota, Revs for Rent, CSBK's official charity, and the Supersonic Road Race School. We're back at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park, and we are on lap number six with Stevie Nickerson in fifth spot, Sebastian Tremblay in fourth, and Trevor Daly, Colin, has worked his way up into third. And right now we're watching Duma as he evaluates the performance of his arch rival, Bang Young. And the problem here is these guys have split from the rest of the field. Most unusual at this venue and a huge problem for Duma who needs to make up points. He needs to win, he needs to push Young back to fourth or fifth, and needs to do it at least a couple of times in our three races. We have two races after this, and this situation is not working out the way Duma wants it. Look in the background, Frank. That I battle know, yeah. for third, those three guys are what the front usually looks Looks like. Yeah, exactly. And Dumas still following Ben all the way up. I was hoping that we might have a bit of a drag race up to Mario Andretti straight away there and see how this uh, GSR uh, stacks up against it's the uh, new M model BMW S1000 RR. Didn't happen this time around. Obviously, uh, Dumas paying great attention, but wow, what a gap down to third. Holy cow. Daly looks like he's pulling away maybe slightly from Tremblay, and we got to throw it to Nickerson, yeah. who hasn't been on the tour for the last couple of rounds. We know that that Honda is very fast. We know that Steven 
Nickerson is dealing with some injuries, but it's good to see the DeWilt Honda back uh, showing its pace after a good weekend at Grand Bend at the start of the season. Well, and he has had a number of weeks uh, of, of recovery here, and we're on board right now and looking back from the uh, one-speed uh, Suzuki GSX-R1000 of Trevor Daly, the wild child, and certainly throughout this... Oh, down he goes! Down goes the wild child! Trevor Daly has crashed in three into the hay bales. Oh, man! Jeepers. No, he's up and all right anyways. That's the bottom line here, I guess. But Jeepers, we were just talking about him, how well he's doing. And yeah, it looks here that Trevor's he is. maybe just slightly offline, and he just doesn't quite get the bike settled on the brakes. And you can see that front tire started to lock and slide, and uh, this is a scary place to go in. Good that Trevor got up, but unfortunately, he's not going to get any points. And of course, in the Manufacturer's Cup, uh, Dumas is depending on Daly as his tail gunner. And there you can see what happens to our onboard as we get into the straw in turn three. Well, indeed, it was Daly and Dumas that teamed up to take Suzuki's Constructors' Championship last year, and this is a gift now. Now for Tremblay as he has been gifted third spot and we may have a battle on our hands the typical race within the race if the leaders are gone watch for a battle in the race and there it is right now Tremblay and Nickerson are going at it this is a beauty Kawasaki versus Honda in terms of popular people in the paddock Tremblay and the Kawasaki Nickerson and the Honda certainly measure up of course Michael Leon another popular guy in the paddock is out with his royal distributing BMW he was hurt at our last round at Shubenacadie as we go on board with third place uh, uh, Tremblay, and we have a very, very oh, good oh, look at that awesome. Honda. This is absolutely awesome. Now, as the shaker holds off, Nickerson up until now, as Nickerson takes the inside line and gathers up third spot. Could it be that Stephen Nickerson is headed for a CSBK podium? And that would be his first in the Pro Superbike feature class. So exactly. here we go. And Tremblay is uh, running pretty much the typical line here. Maybe left the door slightly open, but Nickerson committed early, which you really need to do to make that pass work. And that's one that Alex Dumas uses pretty regularly here on the inside of three, usually against Ben Young. And if we look in the background there, Sam Garin is finally getting rolling. He's in fifth, and I think he's making time on this battle for third. Also, Frank, need to mention that Tremblay has actually gone to the bike he raced last year here because he's looking for a little more top speed out of his Ninja, and we'll be right back on TSN. Welcome back to Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. We are working lap 12 of 20, so we're over the halfway mark now, Colin. Yeah, that means the race could be official, and the pressure is on to try and figure something up for Alex Dumas. But during our break, look at what happened. Sebastian Tremblay went hunting, and he caught a Honda coming Shaker. out of turn 10. Nice move there. This battle isn't over. The race for the last podium spot is pretty important, and now we're coming up on some traffic. Oh, and this could be key now as we steam down through turn number four. That is, by the way, Vivian Matthews on the number three Yamaha. He has gone a little bit wide, and our leaders have gotten by. No issue, no drama. Heading up the back straight here, and uh, Dumas was a little careful in traffic. We've seen this from him before, but let's see how the slipstream works for the Suzuki. So far, Young seems comfortably leading, and Dumas is in the draft now. The soft air, as you like to call it, Frank. Let's see how close he gets as they get on the brakes for turn eight. And yep, he towed his way pretty much most of the way back. So this will be crucial for our last lap timing. Alex has seven laps to figure out how he wants to make that work against Ben. And earlier, we sat down and spoke to our outgoing champion about his chances this weekend. Every weekend I go to, I, I just want to win. So it doesn't give me more pressure. Uh, I mean, it probably gives a little bit of Ben some pressure because he has to be like perfect all weekend long. Even finishing second is pretty tough around here. No, I think I'm on the... The good side, just, I'll just do my best and we'll see what happens at the end. I really wanted to win the championship, it'd be pretty cool, but uh, I guess we'll see. Well, Alex Dumas is used to winning races. He won in the United States of America in two separate classes, came home here to Canada, captured our championship, and he desperately wants that championship back. But man, he's got a big, uh, a big hill to climb here, Colin. Well, right now, Ben Young's hoping that race five, Saturday at Shubenacadie, when uh, he was pouring the pressure on Dumas and they had some controversy and Dumas fell, Ben Young wants that to be the decisive race of this season, and it may well be. What Dumas needs is this race or one of the next two to be decisive to really throw a wrench into the plans of Ben Young and really disrupt the points. But the problem is with no one else in sight, and normally there'd be five or six spikes in this shot as they fight for the lead. That works so much against Dumas' ambition and the fact that Ben Young has set the pace and pushed the pace 
means he's really in control in a number of ways. And also, Dumont cannot afford to challenge Young because then Young will pick up the pace, which makes it even worse. So it's really a catch-22 for Dumont. You feel for him, but Ben Young is in the driver's seat and has been since Saturday at Shubenacadie. That Suzuki is not getting quite the toe I thought it would have got. Uh, last time uh, up the back straightaway, he, uh, he gained nothing, basically, on, on Ben Young. And, you know, yeah, he didn't complain about it, but he did comment last year that they could have used a little more horsepower and that Patrice Goyette was going to give him uh, that extra horsepower for this year. He looks, uh, oh man, he is very close at this point in time. Looks to me like he's going shopping. Well, I feel like Ben in the last few turns has slowed his pace just slightly, a little conservative on his entries. He might be trying to, to sell a dummy, as the British might say, and try and see if Dumas will pounce. And then we'll see what the pace is like with Dumas in the uh, lead. Yeah. And maybe Ben can A, breathe it a bit, but B, breathe his tires and see what Dumas' tires are like. Because at this point, this is when the Dunlop slicks are going to start showing the abuse they've suffered. And those very early laps when the pace was so hard could be an issue, but probably not because both of these guys are very consistent and not particularly hard on their tires. Jordan Zoak, who's injured this year, is normally our tire tester. <laughs> and we'll be right back with our thrilling conclusion here at CTMP. Welcome back to CTMP as Infortation Thibault presents CSBK on TSN. Brought to you in part by BS Battery, Joe Rocket, and AIM Insurance. Welcome back to Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. We are working lap 18 of 23 laps to go, Colin. Here we go. Yeah, and now is when Dumas has to figure out a plan. We're watching that race for first, and let's look at the rest of our top 10. Lots of interesting occurrences. First race as a pro, Cleary in 10th on his BMW. Bernard, the uh, rider on the uh, 72 machine, that's a Yamaha entry. Bergeron on the number 41. Incidentally, he just won a uh, regional race up at Calabogie Motorsport Park, sitting right in behind Rene Skaysbrook on the number 34 machine, and then Tommy in sixth spot. Right, and that 34 bike is the Aprilia that qualified poorly because he just has no time at this particular racetrack. Skaysbrook raced at the Isle of Man earlier this year. He's the road test editor of Cycle News Magazine, and most famously won the Pikes Peak Hill Climb yes. the last Last time they ran motorcycles up that mountain in uh, the western part of the United States in the Rockies. Well, that was a historic win, let there be no doubt about it. I had a chance to talk to Randy, a very personable young man. I'm really glad to have him here in Canada. I think it's going to do us good. It gives a little more exposure. And there he is, as a matter of fact, uh, working through turn three. Our Dunlop pit reporter, Hannah Streak, has more on 34. Thanks, guys. Aprilia's Rennie Skaysbrook is racing here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park for the first time. Rennie says that he's confident in the changes his team has made to his 2021 Aprilia RSV4 factory since qualifying, improving the performance in the slipstreams. He said his goal today is to perform to the best of his ability, but that the top guys are just too quick here for him to come and race at this track for the first time. Back to you. And we're back on board with that Insta360 RS camera that we like so much as Skaysbrook bombs his way up the back straight. It's been a few years since we've seen an Aprilia here, and they are still very potent superbikes. No question about it. Says, don't forget, Skaysbrook's passed a lot of riders, by the way, getting up to where he is. And look at Dumont now. He's glued to Young. As we get into the final stages of this race, he's gone to the inside of turn number three. Quebec corner, and the Quebec superstar, Alex Dumas, has moved into the race lead once more, and Braveheart ain't given up by a long shot. Colin, give me strength. We're coming up on traffic. And that's Bernhard, who's ninth, and that gives you an idea idea of just how extreme the pace has been that they've made it that far up. I believe Bernhardt's sixth in the series running right now. So a strong competitor on that Yamaha R1 and hopefully he stays to the left as they head up the straight. And they do. He does exactly that as uh, Alex swings out. I think that held Braveheart up just a little bit. He went to the left of Bernhardt and Alex went to the right and Alex has got a couple of bike lengths but then again he's getting hoovered right up as they head up over the hill and down into turn number eight. Right now with just over a lap to go. I feel like Young is in control of this situation. We'll see how the details play out, but remember, he's got just overlap. Look oh, at this. man, wide on nine, and the inside of ten, he's got him. Braveheart has grabbed it right off of Duma. Now Duma coming back there, perfectly side by side across the finish line, and Duma has gone back into the race lead on this, the final go-round. 
Frank, if you remember, at Shubin Akati, these guys tied to the thousand yep. for pole position. They just crossed the line to start the last lap, and the gap between first and second was 0 .000. An absolute tie again. Unbelievable. How close can you possibly get? Well, Ben Young and Alex Dumas are, are illustrating exactly how close you can get, both on the racetrack and on the timing screen. And you've wondered to yourself, is Young maybe fading? Nope. The timing he's looking for is in this part of the track, in the first two turns, the ones you can see with our great drone shot, he needs to be in perfectly aligned to get the slipstream. Right now yep. is when Young yep. has to have everything go exactly right, and he's in a very, very good spot to pull right in behind that GSXR and see if the BMW can make it up. Watch how hard Young's pushing as he heads over to the left to see if he's got to move. Yeah, oh, look at that. Man, he is at that. he is all out climbing the back straight. Wow, that BMW lofting the front wheel. Now remember, they have only two turns left to go. This is turn up, make that three. Turn number eight, they're in right now. Turn number nine, away from the left-hander and then the right-hander where Young passed on the last lap around. He looks to the inside again. He's done it again. Exactly what he did last lap around, only this time it doesn't. No, Dumas is not coming back from that one. There is no tie at the end of this race. That is a key win for Ben Young, who extends his lead in the championship and he uh, had to brave it out on the brakes in 10 and honestly for a second I thought Dumas was going to duck back under we've seen that happen a lot of times here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park and look at this they're actually not oh, having yeah. a crash on the cool off <laughs> lap the way they did last year good work for Ben Young who extends that points lead and that was a terrific race amongst our top two competitors look at Braveheart playing to the crowd I've never seen him so exuberant after a race certainly he's always doing uh, wheelies and waving or what have you, but he is delighted, Colin. Yeah, and remember, he didn't need to win. He just needed to be close. So that he won and that he extended the lead really shows that he's riding with terrific confidence. When he clinched his last championship, he was coming off a huge qualifying crash here. So this is a completely different approach and good work by Seb Tremblay, who gets that Kawasaki up to third from Nickerson. And Garant had a decent race with his BMW. Kazaz in his return in sixth. All right, folks, I'm here with Van Dolder's BMW, Ben Young, who just won. How does that feel? Ah, it feels good. You know, we obviously led almost all of that race and got a bit caught up the, at the laugher at the end, kind of made a mistake at the bottom of two just before we were catching them and kind of threw myself off and managed to give Alex a run into three. And, uh, you know, I was like, okay, that's fine. We'll see what we can do. To me, you know, I was a little, I thought he was going to save it to the end, but he went a little earlier than I thought and uh, gave me a chance to sat behind him and just kind of didn't do anything silly you know again with the points we have didn't really need to go for it but you know i was you know we're all racers and we want it so uh I, he left the didn't didn't leave much of any gap and i managed to find one and managed to stop it and get the thing turning across for the win so Two races to go. Let's have a look at our point standings, Colin. Young is not two races ahead, but he's more than one race. And with only those two you mentioned left, Frank, it's going to be a very steep mountain to climb. Of course, the back straight here at CTFP is pretty steep too. Daily in third, even with that tumble in our most recent event. Look at the points for the manufacturers, and that daily tumble is crucial. It's really, really hurt Suzuki. And Garan's fifth place helped BMW. It's going to be a tough one for Suzuki to get that title back. And there is our podium, the top three riders celebrating here at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park. And coming up to the podium very shortly, there he is, Rene Skaysbrook, as he has won the Fast Riding School Hard Charger Award. Martin Hamel presenting that to him. And on behalf of the entire CSBK crew, thanks so much for being with us. See you next time.